Uh, we start, though, with the NBA and the Kings, who added a trio of guards in the second round of Thursday's NBA draft. But that's not the biggest news of the week. Yesterday, a report in the Sacramento Bee quoted Willie Cauley-Stein's agent, Roger Montgomery, as saying Willie wants out of Sacramento. A very different message than what we heard from Willie himself just last week at his basketball camp in Kansas. Even though we didn't even go to the playoffs, people will always remember the team that we just had last year just because, like, it was almost like they had a drought for all them years, and then that was like a really special team, and we didn't even go to the playoffs. So it's like, you know, building on that, we got to go to the playoffs real soon. We got to go to the playoffs real soon, and I definitely want to be a part of that. So, uh, and that's been my home for the last four years. So, I'm not really trying to move. <laughs> For more on this developing story, we bring in the Sacramento Bee Kings beat writer Jason Anderson, who broke the news on Willie's agent, essentially saying that he wants Willie to play elsewhere next season. Jason, are Willie and his agent on the same page? Because it kind of seems like they're not. Um, yeah, I think they are on the same page. Those are interesting remarks from Willie. Mm -hmm. um, I, I think he probably has some mixed feelings uh, right now about Sacramento, but um, I, I think he and his agent have uh, decided that it, it would be best for him to move on. I, I think they, it sounds like they had a discussion well after he said those remarks that, hey, if we're going to get something out here in restricted free agency, we probably want to let the Kings know, hey, we're interested in other teams. Uh, he sounds like a guy right now who just wants the best opportunity. I know what his agent wants. He wants the, yeah. the, the most money and the longest <laughs> contract. Yeah. Yeah, um, I, I do think these feelings have been there for some time. I don't I don't think this has just happened in the last few days. Mm -hmm. I think that um, I think they've been uh, getting to this conclusion uh, with him for for quite some time. I think a later part of the season there were some signs already, some body language, some comments that were made that were um, interpreted different ways, um, but I, I think the writing was on the wall. I think he sees that. I think that he sees that for his career. Um, He's probably better off trying to find a new opportunity somewhere else rather than staying here where the Kings might be trying to, to upgrade at the center spot. When looking at it from Willie's point of view, things seem pretty obvious. But looking at it from the Kings point of view, uh, what do you make of the ask that's been made? There's really no reason for them not to put that qualifying offer on the table and at, at least uh, see what the market value is of this player down the road. Yeah, that's a great point. I think it's in their best interest to go ahead and extend the qualifying offer, retain his rights until the point that you decide that, um, that that you want to move on, and that he doesn't, um, he's not an asset for you. They can, they're, they're, they have options. Um, I, I think they should, they should extend the offer. Uh, they should pursue sign and trade possibilities, mm -hmm. um, things like that, before they just let him walk away for nothing. After you seeing what he has said, what the agent, after you talk to him, do you see there's any way that he could be back with the Kings and actually playing next season? Yeah, I do. I, you know, one scenario. And it's interesting whether they've already come to this conclusion um, is that if the market is not going to offer Willie more than, say, 8 to $10 million, the, that may be a price range the Kings are willing to match. And mm -hmm. this move to get out in front and say, we would rather you not extend the qualifying offer and let him become an uh, uh, unrestricted free agent, maybe a preemptive move to avoid that because I think they see a possibility or a scenario where the offer is in that 8 to 10 range and the Kings might decide, we'll, we'll match that and, and keep you. And then they have him under control, you know, for probably a period of three or four more years. One, one last quick one. I just okay. wanted now we have you here. I, I just wonder in your eyes if this is the end. What is Willie's legacy here in Sacramento? Hmm. The one word that's come up <laughs> over and over again is inconsistency. Yeah. He's he has immense potential, um, talent, skills. In some ways, he fits better than maybe anybody else would. But I think the Kings realize they need uh, a little stronger defensive presence and rebounding inside.